covering up the logo, bro. You man need to know. This is the Iron Man vest. What do you know about this one? When I put this one on, so it's game time. The Iron Man vest. Come on, this is the Iron Man performance top. That was bad. I, I like that was that. Okay. <laughs> Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another comparison video. So you've already read the title. In today's video, we're comparing the Nike KD13 versus the Nike PG Force. Let's get it. Yeah. Paul George and Kevin Durant. Yeah. Two of the waviest scorers in the world. Waviest. Reason why I say this, bro, is the one-on-one -on -one, uh, video at the USA uh, basketball mm -hmm. camp. Them boys went at it. A couple years ago now. Mm -hmm. But them boys are wavy. That's it. And today we're comparing the shoes that they're hooping. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. As per usual, starting with the aesthetics, easily the most important part, yeah, come on bro. now. You can argue about it, but it's the most important one. Points going to the KD13. It's a tough one. It is tough. It's a tough one. It is tough. Colorways have been banging all of them yeah. off release. We'll come out with mad colorways from the jump. Right now we've got the core black and white colorways. They go crazy, come on. Yeah. But other colorways have been doing bits. I just feel like maybe there's a bit more to work with on these colorways. Yeah, that's what, that's what it might be. And I just think overall the design is very clean. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, very good. I love the traditional lacing. The uh, leather wings on the back of the, uh, the lace loops yeah. and the heel are just cold. Yeah. And there's a lot to do with them. I like the massive swoosh, yeah. which actually leaks into the midsole. I'm messing with them. KD13 for me. Next up we have Traction. And this is a very tough one mm -hmm. because Low key, they perform identical. Ah. On one hand, we have the struggle inspired traction pattern. On the other hand, we have the circles and oval. That's right. We might have had our first ever tie. Low key. I mean, we really could have decided. Low key, this is low key a tie. Yeah, but it came down to the coverage. Yep. And the point goes to the PG4. <laughs> had to. Only because of the coverage. That's it. There's yeah. just a, basically that a bit is, more yeah. traction on that one. That's all it is. It goes around, it wraps up a little bit more. That's literally it. That is it. Next up, talking about the cushioning. Now, this one's wild. If you've seen both our performance reviews on these, they both come out with a 10 out of 10. No lies were told in the making of those videos. So low key is up there for a tie, right? It should be, but the point goes to the KD13. Only because Go on, then. of that double stacked zoom. When you say it out loud like that, it's that's really wild. crazy, that's bro. Wild, that's wild, that's wild. Because they both have that strobal design to them. Yeah. Both units have been attached to the uppers yeah. and are right under your foot, like directly. And it feels buff. Feels dumb. Only one of them is full length Nike Zoom, and only one of them has another Zoom bag underneath the four foot. Um, I get, you guys can guess which one it is, I'm not gonna go into that too much, yeah. but I'm just saying when you've got it like that, a lot of things start ramping up. The court feel, impact protection, the comfort, the response, KD13 it is. Next up, we have the materials. Now, this is also a close one, but the point has to go to the KDs because this shoe right here is the greatest out-the-box oh, experience that I have ever had. You said it. It's insane. You said it. And it comes from the materials. It does. No breaking time whatsoever. This is too Real it's... soft, minimalist materials. That's it. We don't actually know what they are, but they just bang. They're soft. They're lightweight, they're breathable, that's just what it's gonna be. But by no means are the materials here lacking. True. The neoprene inner boot feels amazing. It does. That, that, that mesh zipper shroud is nice as well. It is. And the touches of uh, level on the lacing system do bang. But the KDs goes crazy, bro. Crazy. Next up, talking about the weight. Mm. Now this one's pretty simple. But surprising. Facts. Now both in a US 13 or a UK 12 size. Yeah. PG comes out at 495 grams, whereas a KD comes out at 465 grams. Hmm? 30 grams less. And it's a high top. So fair enough. And we've got double stack zoom There's in there. Extra zoom bag in there. I don't know where that comes from, boy. On both feet. So when you really double up, there's yeah. a lot less over in the KD. So of course that point's gonna have to come this side, bruv. 
come on now. Next up, we have the fit. And again, the point goes to the KDs. Yes, they do fit a little narrow. Yeah. But these are narrow. <laughs> <laughs> these are narrow. Different. So much so that I highly recommend that you try these on before you buy them. Highly. Of course, with any shoe, True. try them on before you buy. But these especially because we recommend you go half a size up be because of how narrow That's they it. feel. It's different. Next up, talking about the support. And the point goes to the KD yet again. Once again. Why though? It just bangs, bro. They are so good. The mid top does bang and it yeah. comes with those lace locks at the back, those leather lace locks, which help with that kind of ankle coverage. Materials come in nicely here. They're soft, but they do help with the lockdown really, really well. The tongue yeah. actually does its thing for sure. And even the kind of this kind of rim you get around the midsole, which kind of helps your foot kind of sit inside the shoe, which just felt fantastic laterally yeah. and back and forth and so on and so forth. I love them. Now, don't get me wrong. The PGs has a zipper shroud, the neoprene uh, inner booty, yeah. which all are super close to foot. Lockdown is there. But that narrowness also comes in handy because they are very tight to foot. Yeah. So it kind of teeters on the fact of support against restriction and it's not as nice an experience. Whereas the KDs clocks it, blends them all together. Point to the KD. Next up, outdoors. Yep. Which shoe is better for the great outdoors? Yes. This again was a tough one because both these shoes low key give you a very similar experience. True. But again, the point goes to the KDs. Yeesh. The traction holds up better outdoors. It does. The cushioning is better. Oh, it's needed. The materials are a little bit more durable. Just a little bit. It's that open mesh material, bro. Mm. First of all, the whole shroud is mesh, yep. but on that one panel, it's open. Right. Therefore, if that gets ripped a tiny bit, the shoe's done. Yeah. The whole mesh is done. You know what it is. If it tires a little bit, it's just gonna keep growing as you play in them. And then your whole lace locks is exposed. Don't get me wrong. Exposed lace locks are fine because as you can see, most shoes have got them like that. But no one wants a ripped up shoe. No one wants that. And it's just too big of a risk for me in outdoors. I don't really mess with it. I don't know why, don't get me wrong, it's there for breathability. I don't know how much breathability it was, but... Mm. Lastly, which of these two shoes is better value for your money? The KD come out at 130 pounds, whereas the PG4s are a slightly less expensive 105 pounds. Ooh, we like to hear it. Now this cool. is a tough one yep. because here we have double stack zoom. Yeah. And it feels incredible. You got it all. And it's something that I want every Hooper to experience. Every I really one. do. Oh, yeah. However, that £105 price tag Sweet. for a cushioning setup that feels low key similar. Yeah, it's, it's And in you there. still get full length air. Yep. And it's still 10 out of 10 cushioning. Yep. It has to go to the PG4s. It has to. You still get 10 out of 10 cushioning. Yep. And 9 out of 10 traction. Yep. Bro, for £105. You know what it is, bro? With a starting price of 105, when these go into sale. Hmm. Lock off the tick, man. Lock off the tick. So, right, guys, looking at the scores. Hi, she is 7 2 mm. to the KD 13. Aye. Yeah. You held, you know, it. You held an L today. That's a hard L, but it's. it's I want to say it's not accurate. Because the PG4 bang, yeah. it just went up against a madness. A lot of these scores were tight. Ooh, a lot were edged. Cushion was tight. Traction was edged. Traction was mad, bro. Oh, it was Loki attack. It was, it was Loki attack. But what I'm saying is, evil or you're good. We talked about it in price, 105, 130. If you've got it, go with what you want. If you've got the 130, you have all your, all your options are available to you. Both yeah. options. If you've only got 105, you're good to go. You're good to go on the PG4. Just saying, the KD does kill it in so many categories. So you've got two amazing shoes here. Make your choice, you know what it is. Don't forget to like this video. Show that support as always. Comment down below which shoe you would go with. Please. Is it the PG4? Is it the KD? Is it neither of them? Just comment, let us know, right? And of course, hit that subscribe button down below. 
that beautiful red button with the yes. bell next to it every single time. We've got loads of videos on their way. And if you're about that podcast life, hit the links in the description to listen to the brand new podcast by Pure Kicks, Win By Two, presented by your boys. Hit the links to our latest episode and hit the links to the complete podcast website. You can actually listen to it on any of your favorite podcast platforms. Yeah. So make sure you click them links. Get involved in the conversation with hashtag win by two pod on pretty much all of them social media things there. So right guys, that's everything from us. This is the Nike KD13. This is the Nike PG4. We're pure kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.